I have this table of contents sheet that you can navigate to get to. So you can always go back to it and whatever sheet you want to go to is like that. And this is kind of semi-dynamic, doesn't work exactly, but it's semi-dynamic. So I'm gonna show you how to build this without VBA, just using functions and formulas. So my name is David Benheim and I have tons of videos that I release every week on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, then I'm covering on my channel. So consider clicking the like button if you enjoy this video. So let's get started. So I've got a fresh blank copy without any of the stuff and we're going to build it on there. So here we go, this is my first worksheet and I'm going to insert the sheet, which I'm going to call table of contents, like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have for each sheet, the name of that sheet in the top left corner in cell A1. So to do that, I'm going to select multiple sheets. So hold down the control button and click to the right, then hold down shift and click on the last one. This will then select every single worksheet that you have in between like this. And then I'm going to uh, use a function to get the name of the worksheet. I'm gonna use two functions actually. So equal cell, and then if you click on file name, double click there, then press uh, left arrow and then back to where you were and then cell A1, close your brackets. You could have typed in A1 as well. This will get you the name of the worksheet plus also all of the folder path that you're in there. So we don't want the folder path, we just want everything after this, so the close parentheses. So you have this really cool function called text after that we're going to do before that. So text after and then that one, then we close the brackets for cell, press a comma, and then delimiter we're going to use in speech marks, double quotations, this close parentheses that we saw before, because we're going to say give me everything after that. We don't need anything else from the text after function. So now in every one of these worksheets, I have it there. Make sure you unclick the worksheets, otherwise anything that you change in one will change in every single worksheet. So do be careful with that. Uh, it's good for setting print settings or certain types of formatting, but it can be dangerous because you can overwrite things that are in there. So next, in every one of these, we're actually going to create a back button to go back to this one, except for the table of contents. So I'm first going to do it in one sheet. You actually have to do this in one sheet. You can't do them two all at the same time. So I'm going to right click and choose link and place in this document, table of contents and text to display. I'm going to say table of contents. And cell A1, that's perfect, that's all I need. Then click here and it takes you to this. So now, once I've got it in this sheet, I can then copy it. So right click and copy, and then I can click on the next one. Hold down control to go to the last set of sheets. Shift, click on that one, and I'm gonna do this in C. Make sure that these are all empty first. So I'm going to paste it there. If any one of these had data, then you would overwrite it. So if I was to type something in here, then it would overwrite it in all of these cells. So next up, we're going to look at another formula concept known as 3D references. So 3D references means that you can, you can go not only um, up, down, left, right, but you can also go across worksheets. So to show you an example of that, I'm going to do a count of cells. So count up, count of how many cells have content in multiple worksheets. So I'm going to click on, well here, let's say A4, and then I'm going to press the colon, and then I'm going to, again, control click. No need to select them, just go to the last worksheet, and let's also do A4. So this is going to be, well, we can do even more, we can do E12, and then it, we'll count everything in that box from A4 to E12. But we're going to need to manipulate our formula a bit. So I don't need both of the times where I have an exclamation mark. I just need this to separate it. And I'm actually going to do over here A4 until E12. And then I need to get the single quotation. This comes out whenever you have more than one word in the name of your worksheet. So I'm going to close that up over here. And then I'm going to close my brackets and I get 176. So that is counting how many cells have data in that range. And if I was to make amendments, so A4 to E12, I'm going to delete the content here. Then I'm gonna go back here and now it's changed that. Undo, Control Z to get back to where I was. And just to show you, if I am to insert a new worksheet and I have some data in here, and it was 176 before, so let's go back to this. And it's showing me 176 still because this is before the range, but if I move this inside the range, then it's showing me 181. So whatever the name of the sheet is here, as long as it's between the ones that I started with and the one that I ended with, it is showing me in there, which is kind of nice because it means that this technique that we're going to use to create a table of contents is mostly dynamic. You have to do a little bit of adjustment, but it is mostly dynamic. Let me first introduce you to another concept that is also fairly new in this, in Excel, which is the ability to stack tables together with VStack. So I have four tables together, four tables that are essentially of the same kind of setup, but in different sheets, and I want to stack them together. So what I can do is I can write equals V stack, and I can select all of this table, and then comma, then all of this table, and then I could keep going, but I'm just going to stop there. I actually don't need the headers in this one. Do check that your headers are the same, <laughs> otherwise you will cause issues, but then you will end up with both of those together. So this table would end here, and it would continue. I would have to change the date formats, um, yeah, probably go to the home tab and choose a right date format, and check other things in it, but that's what VStack can do. And you can have more tables as well as you go along like that. 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack just these single cells from every single worksheet in cell A1. Let's have a look at that. So table of contents, I'm going to write here equals vstack. And I'm going to first click on this one. Then I'm just going to put the placeholder of that in, control and click there. And then I just want A1, but I need to manipulate this. So I need that to be just the colon. And then I need to close my single quotations there before the exclamation mark. And now I press enter and I have the list of sheets, which is great. Uh, I'm going to actually cut and paste that here to cell C. Um, note for zero, zero is happening because in sheet 15, I wasn't able, I didn't bring that to here. So if I just copy and paste this formula we built into here, it works. Let's give it a better name. So new sheet. And we will now see that new sheet is in there. Perfect. So we're getting there. Uh, now we're going to use a function called the hyperlink function to finish the deal. So equals hyperlink allows you to get the link location from your from other cells essentially and give it a friendly name. So if I click on this one and then friendly name, I'm going to click on this one as well. Uh, this isn't going to work. I need to specify a few more things. So you need to know which kind of symbols mean which thing. So start with speech marks and then you use a hash symbol and then use a single quotation and then use speech marks again and then concatenate that with this and symbol. So you do need to start with a hash symbol if you're referring to the same document for the hyperlink function. And like we saw before, you need a single quotation to be before the sheet name if it has more than one word in it. And then uh, I am using double quotations because whenever you link to cells and text in Excel, you need to use these. This is going to uh, concatenate what I've listed out here or join together the text with the cell. So I need to then do another ampersand and then double quotes. And then I need to do this one, single, and then this kind of exclamation mark to say we're going from the sheet name reference to the cell reference. And then I'm going to do A1. So it doesn't have to be A1. You can even make it dynamic to a cell if you want to. But here's how we're going to do it. And then I'm going to close my speech marks there. And then the friendly name is just going to be the name of the worksheet. Close my brackets. And then I get this. It is automatically showing me in hyperlinked format. And it does work. All right. So now we're going to just drag this down. Let's go up to row 30. But you can go as far as you want. We have a few things to fix up. So these ones, if you click on them, they do not work. So we want to hide them, essentially. And we're going to just do that by changing the number format. So select these cells and go to the number format. And then we're going to do custom. And we're just going to do zero, semicolon zero, and then semicolon and nothing. Press OK. And this is just going to mean that it's showing them blank. Now, it does still have the error like that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be something that we're going to live with. So essentially, if people click on something accidentally, then it might take them to an error, but that's OK. So what happens if we enter a new sheet? Then let's try that out. So I'm going to enter a new sheet here. So it's called 18. I go back here. Um, it should be showing, sometimes it doesn't. Um, actually, I'm going to do something in my worksheet and then it forces it to work. So it has now given me a zero here and this is blank, but notice that these all shifted down. So in order to make it actually work, what we need to do is go to another worksheet, take both of these cells and copy them and go into this one and paste. This should be all we need to do and now it's 18 and as we know, this can be renamed and it would appear here and then it would appear here as well. If we deleted a sheet, so if I, for example, delete this sheet, then go back to this one and it's no longer there. So it is pretty much dynamic except for the fact you just have to take these three cells and copy them and paste them on top of the other cells. So to wrap it up, just sort of hide this. Actually, you need to hide B and then give it a name. So click to go to sheet. Uh, maybe make it bold as well so it stands out. Remember that these do break it. I don't have a solution to that if you want it to be dynamic. But of course, if you know that you're going to not change very much the number of sheets, you can just stop there and not drag it down further than that. So by just deleting these ones. Yeah, delete or press the delete button on your keyboard. To wrap it up, just want to show you what you need in order to get this to work. So two of the functions I've shown you, text after and vstack, only actually work if you have the brand new version of Excel. So to check which version you have, go to file and then account. And then you'll see here, if it says subscription product, then that means you should have it. However, you also need to look over here and you need to have version 2208 or more recent. So 22 means the year 2022 and 08 means the eighth month, which is August. If you have 2209 like I do, then you will have it. This is the beta channel. So this video is being made in August 2022, but I have the pre-release version, which gives me access to more features. These functions are now released for everyone. They should be rolling out sometime in August if you have the current channel, if you have 2208. If you have the semi-annual channel, then you will get these from February 2023 onwards. Great. So I hope you liked that video. I think this is a really, really cool feature. And there are a lot of things that these 14 new functions just released can help you with. And I'm going to be showing you those in a bunch of videos. So give me a like button if you enjoyed this video and check out my channel again because I release weekly content on Excel, PowerPoint, Zoom, Teams, Google Sheets, Power BI, and I love talking about the new stuff. Thanks for watching.